Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Old School Game here. We're back again with another video today. So, EA has finally announced the minimum and also the recommended PC specs for the newest installment in the Mass Effect series called Mass Effect Andromeda. And you can pretty much could have guessed that you're going to need a pretty powerful, pretty expensive, or pretty good PC to even run this thing. Now, I'm not too much of a PC guy. I'm not too familiar with the PC specs, but I am a little bit familiar with them. So, I got into it and I looked at it and I was like, damn, these are some pretty expensive parts and some pretty damn good parts too. Now let's get on to over to the specs. For your operating system, of course you're going to need a 64-bit Windows 7, 8.1 and also Windows 10, of course. And also your processor will have to be an Intel Core i5-3570 or a AMD FX-6350. And also you're going to have to need a gigabyte of RAM. And with your graphics card, it's going to need an NVIDIA GTX 660 and also a AMD Radeon 7850. And with your hard drive, you will need to at least have 50 gigabytes of free space to even have this game installed on there. And you're, you will have to install DirectX 11. And now on off over to the recommended specs, you're going to need, of course, again with the operating system, same as last time, 64-bit Windows 7, 8.1, or Windows 10. And for the processor, you're going to need to step it up a notch with the Intel Core. You're going to need that next Intel Core i7 4790 and also an AMD FX 8350. And with the RAM, you're going to need a double the amount that you will need in the minimum. And you'll need to go with 60 gigabytes of RAM, which is that's a lot right there. That's a, that is a damn lot. And with your graphics card, you're going to need NVIDIA GTX 160 or you will need an AMD RX 480. And with your hard drive, again, it will just be the same 55 gigs of free space along with the direct x11 now as you can pretty much tell you need a pretty powerful fucking computer because just intel i7 damn that's that's a pretty expensive price uh 16 gigabytes of ram that's not too expensive but damn that's a lot of ram and of course with the graphics card i'm not though the graphics card is where it gets me with not too familiar at with pc gaming all right well but other than that guys we're gonna end off the video there if you guys liked it don't forget to like maybe subscribe oh wait Wait, Mass Effect Andromeda will be releasing on March 21st in North America and also on March 23rd in Europe. And I was also hearing on a few videos and also on a few websites and they're all saying that there's going to be online beta for this game. Either it's going to be online multiplayer or just a single player beta. But you know damn good and well I'm going to be downloading that and I'm going to play it. I've been playing the Wildlands beta here recently and that it's pretty fun. You know it's alright. It's alright. It's not the best. It's not the best but it's still pretty fun. It's like a Far Cry but third person in my opinion other than that guys i think i'm in off the video there i pretty much rambled on enough here talked about what we needed to talk about got you guys the pc specs information so if you guys like to don't forget to like and maybe subscribe you feel like i'm worthy enough and as always do not forget to put your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below what you guys think about PC gaming? Me? I think it's pretty cool. I don't mind it. I don't mind console gaming. I, I can do either one. I'm a fan of both. So, you know, I'm not no fanboy or anything like that. All right, do you guys think this thing needs a pretty expensive, pretty powerful computer? Do you have a pretty powerful computer to run this thing? Anything like that, put it down in the comment section below. But, yeah, I want you guys to have a good day, night, afternoon, whatever time you guys are watching this. As always, keep it old school, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later, and as always, thank you for watching.